So in our last investigation, we heard a ghost, but we didn't see it. And one thing we definitely need to work on is our camera work. So we're gonna take you behind the scenes on our next project. So right now what we're doing is we're kind of creating our own SLS camera using the Xbox 360 Connect. So the way the Connect works is it has these cameras and it's not really looking for pictures, but more as shapes and anomalies. So it's, it's looking, Jack, come here, come here. So if Jack were to stand right here, the Xbox 360 Connect would see his body recognize the shape and draw a stick figure outlining his body. Now, if Jack wasn't there and we see a stick figure with no body, well then it's a ghost. It's a spirit or a demon. Something is right there that's not human. All right, so we're pretty much putting this hinge on here to put this pad, and this pad's gonna go against your chest. And then this is what's gonna hold the laptop and the Kinect camera. And then we'll strap it up around your neck and you'll be able to adjust it from there. Sounds pretty unique. I mean, it is. One of a kind. So building your own SLS camera is real easy. All you need is three things. The Kinect, which it's old, so it's real cheap. You can find them online for 20 bucks. We were lucky to have one right here, thanks to Zach. Um, another thing you need is an adapter to connect the uh, connect, the connect <laughs> to a USB, which plugs into a laptop. Now, if you're using a tablet, you might need a different adapter. But we're using a laptop. You need Windows, at least Windows 8.1 for, for more recent. And then you just download this, the uh, Kinect software. We'll put the link down in the description. Um, and then you just put it together, plug and play. Easy smooth. Alright, so here's our makeshift SLS setup. Um, it looks a little ridiculous, but for what we have, it's the most convenient way to do it. We, we rigged up this harness idea here because we figured with all of this, this, this metal sign with a computer and the connect, if you're holding it right here, it's going to fatigue your arms a lot. So we wanted to put it around your waist, around your neck, that way you can film steady as long as you can. Um, so we have the connect mounted up front. I mean, that's not going anywhere and this will be able to swivel. Um, over here, we have the computer. We're gonna have the display screen so I'll be able to see whatever is coming out the connect. So if Kate's standing right in front of it, I can see the outline of his body. It's not turned on right now. And then if Kate's not there and we see another stick figure, oh no, we just captured a ghost. Um, this, we have this nice cushion right here to add a little comfort to the design. Um, all courtesy to Zach Strohecker over there. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is a pretty good setup. Uh, it, it's very affordable. Um, all you need is a tablet or, or a laptop that has Windows. Most people have some kind of computer or tablet. Uh, just make sure you have Windows 8.1 or recent, more recent. Um, get a Kinect. Costs about you know twenty to forty dollars if you want a refurbished one. Um, and then all we need left is to uh, purchase, and you're gonna have to get this online, no store is gonna sell it. It is the Connect 
um, adapter to USB, hook it up to the computer, download the software on the computer, link is down in the, in the description, and then we'll be able to see everything we connect to. So, I mean, this is it. It's, it's not easy. bad.